In this video, you'll see how we might be living in a world of abundance. We might just believe that dim occasions are drawing closer. Large numbers of us ask ourselves, how long will it be before our reality falls under the strain of environmental change, overpopulation, and decreasing assets? Most likely it's simply a matter of time. Abundance claims something else. A long way from being close to the end, society is on the edge of a splendid and creative future. Changes in the realm of business, innovation, and financial matters will change social orders across the globe to improve things. In reading these in chapters, you'll find precisely what these processes are, some of which are more insincere than others. For instance, did you realize that the staying power of the normal PC is near reaching that of the human mind? Or then again how admittance to the web is making it simpler for young people in the creating scene to get training? Or how access to the internet is making education smooth for children in the developing world? Or how can inborn engineered algae solve the world's energy condition? They will provide our society a greater place like technological and social innovations or devices. Together, they will help overcome these threats and move us toward a brighter, more hopeful, and vibrant future. Our brain's engineering and the media lead us to have an excessively pessimistic perspective on what's to come. It's difficult to consider the future and not think about the likely threats of war, illegal intimidation, environmental change, financial emergencies, populist blast, and food deficiencies. A significant number of these dangers appear to be inevitable to the point that the individuals who didn't think of them while assessing their future may be considered insane. Truth be told, there are basic impacts that will in general push us towards a critical perspective on what's to come. The first is the design of our minds, primarily, the segment known as the amygdala. The amygdala is consistently on alarm for dangers in our current circumstance and, when set off, it starts the battle or flight reaction. This response served us well on occasions when risks around us were prompt and dangerous however isn't so appropriate to the present-day culture, where dangers will, in general, be more far-off and probabilistic, e.g., the economy could plunge, there could be a fear-based oppressor assault, etc. The second has to do with the sort of data we get. News and news sources know that positive news doesn't evoke a similar physiological response as undermining news, which is the reason they report consistent with the familiar saying, on the off chance that it bleeds, it leads, in the fight for our consideration. As, we're continually assaulted with unfortunate pictures and situations that feed the amygdala, keeping us in a condition of caution and keeping us from the survey the future equitably. Yet, in the event that we take a gander at the measurements, we would see that the industrialized world has never been more secure, we're living longer, more affluent, better lives and have greatly expanded our admittance to merchandise, administrations, and data that our progenitors would never have envisioned. Similarly, as they couldn't understand the effect of mechanical advances, for example, the web, we likewise can't perceive what impact future improvements will have on our progress with progress. What's to come is more splendid than our minds and the media would have us accept. The complex web of connections among large numbers of the world's issues implies they can be tackled together. The world is composed of complex frameworks where changes in a single region can have an effect somewhere else. Characteristic environments are an extraordinary model, population changes in single animal categories influence living and endurance conditions for other people. Although the complicated nature of certain frameworks may seem to fuel the issues we face, it likewise presents incredible freedoms. On the off chance that progress is made in one zone, it can make energy and positive advantages in others. One of the significant difficulties we face in making manageability is the development of the total population. With the worldwide population of 7 billion projected to ascend to 9 billion by 2050, it's hard to envision how apparently decreasing assets, for example, clean water will have the option to accommodate such countless more individuals. The present circumstance gets much more complicated when we consider that death rates will drop in the event that we make more noteworthy steps in improving medical services in agricultural countries, adding to more prominent expansions in the populace. However, it would be short-sighted to stop there. All things considered, there's a solid relationship between introduction to the world and death rates. So despite the fact that there might be short-term increases in the population, enhancements in medical care would in reality slow populist development over the long run. At the point when we take a gander at Morocco, we perceive how rapidly this can happen. In 1971, when young people's death rates were high, ladies had a normal of 7.8 kids. In any case, after the nation made incredible steps in medical care, instruction, and ladies' privileges, birth rates dropped to as low as 2.7 young people. 
at the point when we likewise consider that a large part of the projected population development is in Africa and Asia, the connection between improving well-being results and easing back population development is much more clear. In any case, this is just a single illustration of the cooperative energy between the different difficulties we face in which progress in one region can mean upgrades in others. The complex web of connections among a significant number of the world's issues implies they can be addressed together. The world is composed of complex frameworks where changes in a single territory can have an effect somewhere else. Common environments are an extraordinary model, population changes in a single animal type influence living and endurance conditions for other people. Although the complexity of certain frameworks may seem to compound the issues we face, it additionally presents extraordinary freedoms. On the off chance that progress is made in one zone, it can make force and positive advantages in others. One of the significant difficulties we face in making maintainability is the development of the total population. With the worldwide population of 7 billion projected to ascend to 9 billion by 2050, it's hard to envision how apparently lessening assets, for example, clean water will have the option to accommodate such countless more individuals. The present circumstance gets significantly more complicated when we consider that death rates will drop on the off chance that we make greater prominent steps in improving medical services in non-industrial countries, adding to more noteworthy expansions in the population. Be that as it may, it would be dreadfully short-sighted to stop there. All things considered, there's a solid connection between introduction to the world and death rates. So in spite of the fact that there might be momentary expansions in the populace, upgrades in medical services would in reality slow population development over the long haul. When we look at Morocco, we see how quickly this can happen. In 1971, when the child mortality rate was high, women had an average of 7.8 children. But, as the country has made great strides in health care, education, and women's rights, birth rates have dropped to as low as 2.7 children. At the point when we likewise consider that a significant part of the projected population development is in Africa and Asia, the connection between improving well-being results and easing back population development is much more clear. However, this is just a single illustration of the collaboration between the different difficulties we face in which progress in one zone can mean enhancements in others. A long way from being a wellspring of global poverty, a huge business can increase expectations of living among the world's poorest people. Many individuals accept that large organizations across the globe misuse the world's least fortunate individuals and intensify pay disparity, with the individuals on top appreciating an always expanding portion of the benefits. Nonetheless, this is progressively not the situation, as large organizations offer increasingly more to the battle against worldwide neediness. One of the manners in which they are doing so is by creating less expensive items for individuals at the lower part of the pay pyramid. Because of the slanting of pay uniformity across the world, an immensely more noteworthy extent of the population is in this segment, that is around 4 billion individuals. This comprises a large likely market and the chance to make a benefit while increasing the expectation of living for the world's most unfortunate residents. Grameen Phone, a telecom organization in Bangladesh, is an extraordinary illustration of an organization utilizing this kind of plan of action. At the point when the organization was dispatched, cell phones cost undeniably more than the normal yearly pay, however, telephones were going to go advanced, implying that costs were set to drop significantly over the long run. By 2006, Bangladesh had 60 million cell phone clients who added $650 million to the nation's GDP. Grameen Phone had additionally put $1.6 billion in the organization framework, implying that the cash made in Bangladesh remained there. A second way that huge organizations can contribute is through generosity. The high-tech revolution made other types of techno-philanthropists, who, in comparison with philanthropists, are more youthful, have a significantly more worldwide vision, and have the business and political associations to truly get things going. There are various models, however, the most unmistakable is Bill Gates, author of the Gates Foundation, which plans to improve medical services and battle extraordinary neediness. Gates has already donated $28 billion to the foundation and launched the Giving Pledge with Warren Buffett in 2010, encouraging fellow billionaires to donate half of their wealth to philanthropy in their lifetimes. Traditional methods for instruction are outdated and needing a re-examined, however, ICT may provide the answer. Access to tutoring is a significant worldwide issue. We're a great many instructors short and need a framework, and where it exists, it's falling into decay. Students fortunate to approach schooling are following genuinely outdated structures. 
Business leaders agree that the instructive framework isn't giving understudies the abilities expected to handle the issues of the 21st century, especially in zones, for example, basic reasoning, innovativeness, and critical thinking. Our present training framework was shaped during the mechanical upheaval, which affected which subjects were educated, yet how to instruct. Industry expected understudies to follow requests and fit in like pinions in a machine, so normalization through repetition learning was the thing to take care of an adjustment to the ideal objective. Society has since proceeded onward, yet instruction has not stayed up with these changes. When we think about these issues, it appears schooling needs a genuine reconsider however is it achievable with such meagerly extended assets. Luckily, there is proof to propose that expanded use and admittance to ICT may offer an answer that can address the two issues of value and conveyance. Shugata Mitra was worried about instructive access while running trials on self-coordinated learning in Indian ghettos. He found that, just by giving a workstation and web access, gatherings of small kids could show themselves and complete assignments with no past experience or guidelines. Such proof for self-coordinated learning is sponsored by the prominence of internet learning stages, for example, the Khan Academy, where anybody can take in anything from fundamental math to quantum mechanics. This pattern could be supported with instructive computer games, which have appeared to assist understudies with being spurred to take complex issues and find inventive arrangements. Further improvement in such advancements, joined with a boundless push to build admittance to the web and online innovation, may offer a savvy arrangement and give people a five-star, customized training that conveys the abilities the present society needs. A successful future relies upon imaginative opportunity unhindered by the fear of disappointment. We are for the most part awkward with the word disappointment. There's a sure shame joined to it and, along these lines, numerous individuals make a special effort to stay away from it, regardless of whether it implies not endeavoring something new. Notwithstanding, disappointment ought not to be seen as the endpoint, however more as a feature of a more extended expectation to absorb information and an essential venturing stone towards advancement. In this regard, Apple's early attempt to present an individual computerized right hand called the Newton is a noteworthy model. Financially talking, it was a disaster. Improvement costs were extremely high and deals were baffling, yet the story doesn't end there. A significant part of the advancement work on the Newton went into making a handwriting recognition framework, which turned into the establishment of the hugely successful iPhone. Organizations are getting progressively mindful of the likely advantages of disappointment, and a significant number of them have created strategies to make disappointment more worthy to support advancement. Tata, for instance, in a real sense celebrates disappointment by giving a yearly honor for the best bomb thought that showed the organization an important exercise. Obviously, the critical fixing here isn't disappointment itself, yet the opportunity to develop and gain from our errors. Incentive prizes are a great example, on the grounds that limitations support development instead of obliging it. The actual prize is generally insufficient to show the enormous players the business, so more modest groups on confined subsidizing are pulled into contend. These limitations power the groups to improve and discover less expensive answers for issues. Considering this, the Entrepreneurship Center of MIT built up the 5x5x5 Rapid Innovation Technique, five groups of five representatives cooperate for five days to create five distinctive business analyzes that will cost close to 5,000 euros and can be run inside a five-week time frame. This cutoff points to power the groups to advance and attempt new things. As the creator proposes, it's less about breaking new ground as in the right-sized box. Computer processors are set to outperform the human brain's computation limit inside the following 15 years. Back in 1965, preceding the coming of home figuring, Gordon Moore, a representative of Fairchild Semiconductor, made a striking forecast about the eventual fate of the PC industry. He anticipated that the number of semiconductors on a microprocessor, and along these lines the preparing speed, would keep on multiplying at regular intervals for the following 10 years. Moore proceeded to turn into a prime supporter of Intel, and his expectation wasn't perfect for the following 10 years, however stays significant today, and has since gotten known as Moore's Law. Consider that the present low-end workstations can perform around 10 to 11, 1011, figurations every second and the human mind is assessed to perform 10 to 16, 1016, computations every second. In this way, if PC processors keep on advancing in accordance with Moore's law, the normal PC will outperform the speed of the human mind in the following 15 years. This dramatic speed-up will have colossal ramifications, especially in the field of man-made consciousness and mechanical technology. 
In any case, while we figured out how to create innovation in sync with the law to date, there is the distrust that we can keep on doing as such because of the constraints of the innovation. One of the principal contentions is the way that electrical signs require the development of electrons, which produces heat. What's more, this development of warmth in computer chips is viewed as a hindrance to accomplishing a lot more prominent preparing speeds. Unmistakably determined by such distrust, the business proceeds to advance and enhance. IBM has as of late created microprocessors that sudden spike in demand for light, eliminating the expected constraints of electron-based chips. They foresee that this innovation will speed up supercomputers 1000 overlays throughout the following eight years. With such forward leaps and proceeded with progress, it is by all accounts an issue of when the normal PC will compute quicker than the human mind, not whether it will. As technology advances and turns out to be more reasonable, robots may before long take up their since quite a while ago proclaimed jobs in the public eye. From Star Wars to 2001, A Space Odyssey, numerous sci-fi films have imagined an age where robots reside among us in the public arena, helping or preventing us, relying upon the plot, obviously. Innovation programs have lured us with the possibility of robots encouraging us around the house yet, these guarantees scarcely appear to have been acknowledged today, self-working vacuum cleaners aside. Presently, notwithstanding, there are valid justifications to accept that the hang tight for insightful robots might be reaching a conclusion. In spite of the fact that Moore's law explicitly manages the expanding execution of central processors, other fundamental segments are encountering comparable remarkable expansions in execution with synchronous drops in cost. What's more, as these segments are squeezed right into it and mass-delivered, costs plunge much more profound. Three-dimensional laser range locators, for example, are a critical component in permitting a robot to explore a jumbled room. While they used to cost $5,000 per unit, ongoing advances in innovation and an increment in their ubiquity because of their utilization in Xbox Kinect gadgets have seen that value drop to $150 per unit. Despite the fact that we might not have the singing, moving humanoid robots of sci-fi at this time, robots of various structures have just been created to enlarge administrations in various regions. Furthermore, as technology advances and the cost of the parts keeps on falling, robots are set to take on an expanding job in the public arena and our lives. Nanotechnology allows us to make new materials with characteristics and usefulness prompting significant advances in numerous regions. In the wake of seeing the horrific problems made by the absence of admittance to clean water in the outcome of the Asian tidal wave and Hurricane Katrina, Michael Pritchard, an English specialist, and master in water treatment, was spurred to take care of business. He set about making a straightforward and convenient arrangement and, only a couple of years after the fact, in 2009 he made the basic plan of the Lifesaver water bottle. Lifeline absolutely doesn't look innovative, with a hand pump toward one side and a channel on the other. Nonetheless, Pritchard acknowledged right off the bat in the planning stage that customary channels had the option to catch most microorganisms however not infections, which are undeniably more microscopic, so he chose to investigate nanotechnology. Nanotechnology includes building things on a nuclear scale. Utilizing molecules as building blocks makes it possible to make interesting materials, called nanocomposites, and even small programmable constructing agents called nanomachines. These nanomachines can self-recreate and fabricate other nanomaterials, making more prominent effectiveness in the innovation and considering fabulous development potential. This innovation has permitted us to make materials with fascinating properties. For example, nanocomposites are significantly more grounded than steel and can be delivered for a portion of the expense. Nanoscale segments are additionally being utilized to improve the proficiency of energy advances, especially in sunlight-based cells. On account of the lifesaver, nanotechnology permitted Pritchard to make a much better channel that eliminates all that there is to eliminate. This channel makes the water protected to drink without the requirement for costly compound or energy-intensive methods. A long way from restricted to improving channels, nanotechnology can possibly support progress in quite a few territories. As a generally new innovation, we've just barely started to understand its enormous capacity. 3D printing, changing how we design and make, empowering mass advancement, and reducing waste. Envision you've recently broken your last coffee cup. You could rush to the store and purchase another one or request one on the web and hang tight for it to be conveyed. Yet, how about we envision, all things considered, you could peruse designs on the web, download whatever cup designs you like, hit, print, and a work area gadget fabricates the thing for you in minutes. A long way from sci-fi, the above situation is as of now conceivable. 
The gadget is a 3D printer, which can manufacture an object of any shape by setting down progressive layers of material, one on top of the following. Ongoing advances in innovation have made it workable for current models to print in an excellent scope of materials, for example, plastic, glass, steel, and even titanium, and furthermore print blends of materials and perplexing examples, making materials with intriguing practical properties. Yet, 3D printing isn't restricted to delivering objects, it's additionally causing a ripple effect in clinical fields, where cells and tissue would now be able to be printed. Early applications have included printing skin tissue, for example, ears, for use in a corrective medical procedure, however further examination into printing complex organs, for example, substitution kidneys for transfers, is in progress. While the inventive capability of 3D printing is making a ton of fervor, the moving toward reasonableness and accessibility of the innovation to the home client might be the greater distinct advantage. Having the option to deliver and adjust your own items at whatever point you need them limits the requirement for enormous scope creation of numerous products available, making asset reserve funds through decreases in waste and transportation. Regardless of this innovation being at its outset, we are now seeing the potential for 3D printing to upset the manner in which we consider and make things, and the potential for additional development develops as the scope of utilizations extends. Biotechnology gives answers to worldwide issues, especially in agriculture, medical care, energy, and the climate. Despite the fact that biotechnological applications in food have made a lot of debate lately, the actual science is the same old thing. The 12,000 year history of cultivating is portrayed by ranchers controlling living frameworks, making new strains of yields through cross-fertilization, and controlling the plant's DNA. Innovation may have proceeded onward, yet the standard of controlling living beings stays as in the past. Today progresses in hereditary designing give arrangements that are ending up being a vital weapon in the battle to take care of an always expanding populace. Despite the fact that biotechnological applications in food have made a lot of discussion as of late, the actual science is the same old thing. The 12,000 year history of cultivating is described by ranchers controlling living frameworks, making new strains of harvests through cross-fertilization, and controlling the plant's DNA. Innovation may have proceeded onward, However, the rule of controlling living being stays as in the past today's propels and hereditary design give arrangements that end up being a vital weapon in the battle to take care of the ever-expanding population. Such inventive models might be only a hint of something larger as decreases in cost and expanded accessibility of innovation puts them inside the grip of willing beginners. This is now proving to be fruitful, soon after the BP oil slick in the Gulf of Mexico, a gathering of understudies from the Delft University of Technology made Alcanivory, a bug ready to burn through oil slicks. As the safeguard of huge associations, biotechnology is as of now giving key advances, however simpler admittance to the innovation is duplicating the possibility to discover creative answers for food, energy, and other worldwide issues. Worldwide networks are quickening the sharing of data, taking care of social issues and preventing mistreatment. At the point when Colombian PC engineer Oscar Morales made a Facebook bunch one morning in 2008, he would never have envisioned the inevitable outcomes. Spirits made the gathering to hold fast against the illegal intimidation and grabbing by the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, or the FARC. Before the week's over, the gathering had 100,000 individuals and, as the numbers developed, this virtual descent transformed into a genuine one. After a month, 12 million individuals were out on the roads fighting in 200 urban communities, prompting a huge flood of neutralization, with warriors leaving the FARC. As the Arab Spring has appeared, the spread of the web and online media has assisted individuals with sharing and examining cultural issues while giving apparatuses to coordinate and battle persecution. An Egyptian dissenter summarized this in the accompanying tweet, We use Facebook to plan fights, Twitter to facilitate, and YouTube to tell the world. Admittance to data has demonstrated to be the significant impetus in this cycle and we have never had such countless individuals with admittance to such a lot of data. Simply look at that as a Maasai fighter with a cell phone presently approaches more data than the US president had 15 years prior. Notwithstanding this reality, it's not difficult to fail to remember that a huge segment of the total population doesn't yet approach the web. It's assessed that 3 billion individuals are set to get online constantly in 2020. Envision the effect of individuals from all social statuses joining the worldwide discussion, imparting their thoughts and insights. The spread of worldwide networks is now assisting with taking care of cultural issues across the globe. As it keeps on developing, we could well see an expansion in mainstream fights, begun by individuals like Oscar Morales. 
Advances in sun energy innovation are expanding use, bringing down creation costs, and promoting development. In the event that we need to discuss plenitude regarding fuel sources, at that point we don't actually have to look a lot farther than the sun. It's assessed that the sun-based force in the deserts of North Africa is sufficient to supply multiple times the world's present use. With such a lot of energy accessible from one source, for what reason would we say we are not catching a greater amount of it? A considerable lot of the regions where sun-based influence is most promptly accessible don't have the cash, industry, or political solidness to make the foundation to profit by this abundance. The cost and relative absence of the effectiveness of original sun-powered cells were clearly a major factor in the absence of take-up. From that point forward, colossal steps have been made in improving the productivity of sunlight-based force using more slender layers of silicon, nanotechnology to focus sun-powered energy and more intelligent caching frameworks that follow the sun. As advances in proficiency energize more prominent acknowledgement, bigger scope creation takes into consideration expanded reasonableness, making a high-minded cycle. Sunlight-based costs are assessed to be dropping by 6% and limit developing by 30% every year. Regardless of this proceeding with a pattern, the time of sun-powered boards covering roofs may just be a transient one, as advances have implied that we would now be able to make a lot more modest, yet progressively proficient cells. Indeed, we may not need roof boards by any means. New energy technologies has as of late figured out how to transform a customary window into a sun-powered board by utilizing the world's littlest natural sun-oriented cell. They are far more modest, yet additionally, perform multiple times in a way that is better than the present business models. All these inventive patterns empower more noteworthy acknowledgement of the innovation, which thus assists with making further efficiencies through large-scale manufacturing, diminishing the cost significantly more. More efficient techniques for developing food, as urban farming, will significantly lessen the need for natural resources and land. As the extent of the populace living in urban communities proceeds to increment and the measure of land reasonable for developing harvests diminishes, the distance we transport food keeps on climbing. In the US, for instance, the normal distance grocery travel is 1,500 miles, yet a feast of various fixings could undoubtedly be multiple times that sum. In a universe of scant assets, this sort of training appears to be impractical, yet it's difficult to determine as we move further away from where our food is developed. Albeit on a much more limited size, the US military dealt with a comparable issue in taking care of their soldiers in the Middle East. Because of the territory and area, they couldn't transport new food in and had to create techniques for delivering crops without admittance to the prolific soil. Accordingly, they created aquafarming, an arrangement of developing plants suspended in a supplement-rich liquid. Later improvements achieved more noteworthy efficiencies with aeroponics, where plants and yields are taken care of through gases in the general climate. These strategies eliminated the reliance on ripe soil as well as incredibly diminished the measure of freshwater required. Horticulture presently represents around 70% of the freshwater we use, aeroponics would require only 6%. The usage of such developing frameworks diminishes the requirement for arable land, which makes the chance of metropolitan or vertical cultivating. We could fabricate downtown, reason assemble structures, or adjust old multi-story structures, which would essentially wipe out vehicle distances and let loose immense territories of land. Such metropolitan homesteads, besides giving plant crops, could likewise join frameworks of hydroponics, implying that fish and fish could be cultivated in urban communities. This would not just give overfished fish stocks a genuinely necessary recuperation break yet additionally give supplements to the plants. By utilizing such techniques in or around populous focuses, we could dispense with or enormously lessen a significant number of the current framework's asset failures. Utilizing reasonable sensors will help decrease waste by significantly improving the proficiency of delivery systems. Enhancing creation and catching methods is just one side of the coin in the fight towards the productive administration of the world's assets. We additionally need to guarantee that conveyance frameworks of assets and items are effective to limit squander. Take water, for instance, an expected 20% of fresh water is lost through tainting or breaks in the organization of lines that conveys the water to taps. A particularly high level of waste is disturbing with a particularly fundamental asset, yet this doesn't need to be the situation. Savvy pipes, utilizing nanotechnology have been created by Chicago's Northwestern University with nanosensors that measure everything from water quality to water stream. By associating the sensors to an organization, doubtlessly the web, we can create savvy circulation frameworks. Further innovative arrangements are not too far off with the chance of lines that realize when they've got a hole as well as can fix themselves when it occurs. 
Today, sensors, for example, have gotten such a lot less expensive and more promptly accessible than we can utilize them in an assortment of zones to screen basically anything. These advancements can possibly improve the proficiency of conveying practically everything, not simply water. Having sensors in merchandise, items, and family unit things likewise makes the potential for a wide range of proficient mechanization. For instance, your home could recognize when you're coming up short on fundamental things and request them for you. Yet, homegrown utilizations are predominated by the potential business utilizes, where crude material orders could be customized to coordinate interest and smooth out stock chains, limiting waste to a remarkable degree. The innovation to make more brilliant conveyance and dissemination frameworks is accessible and on the off chance that we put resources into making products all the more effectively, limiting the misuse of assets will be important for this proficiency drive. Final summary. The primary message of this book is. Wealth gives an amazing visit through key innovations and the ramifications of their projected dramatic development, giving us a brief look at how they may create and examining the manners by which this will affect society. From the expected part of robots and man-made brain power in improving medical care to the employments of nanotechnology and advanced assembling in diminishing waste and rationing characteristic assets, there are a lot of motivations to be idealistic than what's to come isn't simply splendid, however likely could be one of abundance. You like what you hear? Check out other personal development or business books. This video was made possible by your support. It takes a very long time to make one of our videos, so thanks to your contributions to Patreon and watching our videos. We are slowly able to do more and more of them. If you want to help us out, check out the Patreon page. If you like the contents of this video, check out other books in the description and suggest what book we should cover next.